Well, it's official. Florida's governor signed four new bills limiting COVID vaccine and mask mandates within the state, ultimately putting a stop to the Biden administration's rules. Thanks for joining us for ABC 27 News at 6. I'm Channing Frampton. And I'm Ava Van Valen. That mandate was for businesses with more than 100 employees requiring they get the jab or they lose their job. Democrats in the House and Senate say they attempted to push back with amendments, but say ultimately they're not the majority. I could have washed my hands of it and said, you know what, it's their fault or their fault. But that's not leadership. Leadership means you get in there and you do what you can to stand by people. OSHA has suspended its enforcement of the Biden administration's new rules after a federal appeals court temporarily blocked the mandate. President Biden says he'll continue to move forward. These new laws have created a polarizing reaction across the state. ABC 27's Veronica Vernaccio is in Tallahassee with how people feel about these new laws taking effect. Healthcare workers who were fired from their jobs for being unvaccinated are grateful for this new legislation, while Florida physicians are warning about the health risks. There it is. Thursday, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a new legislation into law. His goal is to not allow vaccine mandates with private businesses, schools, and local governments after the Biden administration made vaccines mandatory for employers. So because of the supremacy clause of the U.S. Constitution, federal law will take precedence over this state bill that was passed today. Attorney Jamie Cole says when a two laws conflict, the federal one will apply. Currently, um, been some litigation, so it may be that the federal law and the OSHA guidelines aren't in place or aren't mandatory right now, so then the state law would apply. After DeSantis signed the bills, some Florida physicians made a call to action against the legislation. In a statement sent to ABC 27, Dr. Isaiah Cotran says, as physicians across Florida have been battling this pandemic for nearly two years now, it's frustrating to us that Governor DeSantis and the legislator are taking actions that will only make it worse. For healthcare worker Carly Harrison, who recently was let go from her job for being unvaccinated, she says this legislation is a sign of relief. This just shows that Floridians and Florida leadership care about freedom. Cole says this legislation may allow people who were let go of their jobs for being unvaccinated the ability to be reemployed. He adds the biggest change in the new law is not allowing local governments and school districts to mandate vaccines or masks. Basically, this does many things that greatly limit the power of local governments of, and of school districts and to some extent the federal government from effectively mitigating against COVID. Now this new law takes effect immediately. Florida physicians say they'll be meeting tomorrow to discuss their concerns and the next steps they'll be taking at the legislative level. But for now, reporting in Tallahassee, Veronica Vernaccio, ABC 27.